Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Big Bear Comics Presents. This is my silent auction preview video for Saturday, April 15th, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the YouTube channel, The Great Legend Show. Uh, myself and other sellers will be there selling our goods <laughs> and um, you'll get great prices on comic books. So make sure you tune in and uh, check us out. These will be my offerings for that night. Um, I'm going to start out with uh, Marvel Premiere number 47. Now this is the first time Scott Lang becomes the new Ant-Man. Very key issue. Um, very nice high grade book. It does have an issue. If you will look, I'll point it out. Let's see if I move up here. Right next to the Ant-Man logo, there is a sticker residue circle. You can see the outlining white area where there once was a sticker. And it's not that bad. It just does show up. And there's a little bit of intented writing in the center of that. <clears throat> so, here's a scoop. The book is a 9.2 to 9.4 without that problem. With that sticker problem, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to really judge. I'm st still thinking it would get an 8.085, but I don't know how much really they'll take off for that little sticker residue circle. And you could see it better there. And you can see the little white outlining circle. Now, besides that, beautiful copy. Presents well. I mean, spine is clean. Nice book. And that'll be the first one. Next up, we have not a key issue, but a nice old Fantastic Vore. This is Fantastic Four 89 with this awesome Jack Kirby action cover. Now, covers are only really awesome to collect when they have some kind of real cool action going on. And here's one of them. And of course, it's Jack Kirby. And Joe Sinat has credit to the covers also uh, on this issue here. You can see that. Beautiful cover. This book is definitely a high grade. It's not your run-of-the-mill Silver Age book. Um, I would give this a solid 8.0 copy. Maybe higher. Maybe an 8.5. Um, could use a little pressing near the spine to get some of those little indented stress marks, but there's no real color breaks. There's no color breaking creases anyway. So this is just a beautiful copy, and maybe even Legend may want to upgrade his collection. <laughs> Alright, next up we have X-Men number 40. Now, it doesn't get any more awesome when you combine horror with the superheroes. Here is X-Men 40 with Frankenstein on the cover. Isn't that awesome? Even the title is awesome. The X-Men meet Frankenstein. Nuff said. Exactly. My sentiment. <laughs> this is a beautiful copy. Um, I'm going to give this a solid 7.0. A little bit of edge wear. Um, a spine tick or two. But besides that, man, this is just awesome. Nice book. X-Men 40 with a horror crossover the mark of the monster I could look at that cover for a long time <laughs> and not get bored here we go now this is not a comic book this is a graphic novel um, I'll compare it to size here it's a soft cover book you can see that it's definitely much bigger than a comic book um, it's a key, if it's Marvel, I'll get it out. Marvel Graphic Novel, number four. Now, 
This is a lot of first appearances in this book. You have the first appearance of Cannonball, Wolfbane, Psyche, and Sunspot. And yeah, I rem Yes, I memorized them before I did the video because I have no clue who, the, who Sunspot is. Come on. But anyway, these. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, these characters are supposedly in a movie soon. The New Mutants. And you can see the back cover has a lot of little scrapes and scuffs and dings and scratches. Um, and corner and edge wear. It's still, it's not a, it's no way near a high grade. It's about a 6.0, uh, but still for a key issue, uh, it'll work. Uh, you should see a little thumb crease on the top, some corner crease there, but nothing really major, major. It's still, the interior is really clean with white pages. And um, this is also is a first print. As you can see here, where the price is, it'll have just the price. Now, to tell them apart, Right next to the 495, if it was a second, third, fourth, or fifth, or sixth print, because yes, folks, they made six printings of this book. Um, it would have a U. It would have a Canadian price next to the USA price. As you can see, it just has the 495 US price, so that makes this a first print. So it's very sought after book, and um, and. And this is going to be my Big Bear's Bargain Basement Blowout Special. So you know how low that's going to start. So make sure if you want this book, tune in Saturday. All right, we're moving on here. We're going to a key issue. This is uh, Tales of the Teen, I the Teen Titans 44. Now this is the first appearance of Nightwing. And it has the origin of Deathstroke. And it has Marv Wolfman as a writer, it has George Perez as an artist, and, and Dick Gordano as an artist. Trifecta of greatness on this book. Uh, I will give this an 8.0 for grade because it does have some color wear on the DC logo and a few spine ticks, but nothing really major other than that. I mean, this is a, a very nice solid copy if you're looking to get this book. Um, tune in. Like I said, I sound like a broken record, but stressing out. Be there Saturday. That's the last time I'll say it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, moving on, we have we have Justice League of America, DC Rebirth, number one. And yes, folks, the '90s are back. <laughs> this is the foil convention variant cover that's look at all that shiny silver yay but I mean it's still it's so awesome now everybody a lot of people think those 90s covers and stuff those gimmick covers they were cheesy I like them calls me cheese man I liked them and you can see here's the back it has it does have a Dent or little dent or two because it's hard not to show anything with this silver bulk here. So I still think it'll get a 9.4 even with that little dent. But look at that silver shiny aluminum foil cover. <laughs> um, and it's very easy to put a fingerprint on this. So handle these with gloves. You handle this, this, these, this fingerprint will be right there and easily. But a beautiful copy, and um, that'll be up for auction. Okay, next. Key issue. This is Doctor Strange 169. Yes, this basically is Doctor Strange number one. His first solo title. Also has, it says here, his origin at last right there so it has its origin in this book what a great cover great this is a very highly sought-after book uh, since the movie 
And since Doctor Strange is definitely going to be keep making appearances in movies in the future, uh, this is his first solo title. Nice book. It's about a 4.5. Yes, it does have spine wear, especially that corner and that corner. And it does have two color breaking creases on the top right corner here. Um, yeah, let's get my uh, things right. Here, it's got two creases. I mean, nope, wrong way. It goes this way. Oops, still wrong way. They're on the corner. Man, it's hard to figure that out when you have the camera reversed. Alright, so the creases go this way. <laughs> on the corner there. We'll get it right. My brain doesn't work. Okay, so it's a nice, it's a 4.5, but it presents well. I mean, look at this, the center of the cover, where the main part is. There's not a crease, nothing there. It's beautiful, nice, nice presenting cover. And um, I'll have a good price for you. You won't have to pay millions of dollars for it. Half a million would be good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Archer and Armstrong is number one. This book here uh, is a kind of a speculation book. Um, many people know that... Uh, Archer and Armstrong will be getting some kind of film in the future, according to Valiant anyway. This is a nice near mint copy, and it only has a potential to grow. This is Archer and Armstrong number one. It's a near mint, near mint plus copy. Alright, there's a character right now that's on uh, the Arrow television show. And he doesn't get a lot of love in comics uh, demand-wise, but this book is definitely is picking up a little bit. This is Ragman number one. This is the origin and first appearance of Ragman. So you get a combo here, origin and first appearance, all in one book of a character that's on television right now as one of Arrow's um, crime fighting partners. Uh, this is a solid 8.4 to 8.4. Yeah, 8 Where did I come up? 8.5 to 9.0 copy. Uh, swaying more to the 8.5. It does have a little dent on the top here. And see that? That can be pressed. And it does have a two little spine ticks that break color. So I still think um, still think it'll manage an 8.5. So this is a nice book, nice book. First appearance and origin of Ragman. Alright, here's another uh, um, character that's coming around the corner. This one is going to be uh, in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, Baby Groot. Not many people know, and I was one of them, that Groot actually has... Baby Groot, because uh, Groot does have a first appearance, and the price on that is like, pfft, are you kidding me? 2.0s for a couple grand? Come on. Well, that's what they are, because I guess they're hard to find books. So, I have Baby Groot first appearance and Cameo. All right, so basically, Groot, number four is his first cameo. I'll show you that little splash page at the back if you haven't been able to pick up one of these books. Alright, so here is the first cameo of Baby Groot. Yay! Oh, let's get that right. Here he is. Just born. His first words were not Gaga Goo Goo, they were, I am Groot. <laughs> so, and also here is his, now this is his first full appearance 
is in group number five. And he's on the cover. Cool. Both of these books are near mint. I'm going to sell them as a set. You get the cameo and you get Baby Groot's first appearance. Um, right now, there is some demand for that book. Prices are up there. Not sure what's going to happen in the movie. Is he going to return to his uh, grown-up self at the end of the movie? Or is he stays Baby Groot? We'll never know until next month. All right, and we're going to end the show with my comic book, cartoon book of the auction. This is Walt Disney's Comics and Stories number 87. 87. It sounds like a high number, right? But 1947 is when this book was printed. 1947. Great Karl Barks art here. Classic Disney. It presents really well. There is not, I mean, books this old, usually the whites are brown. Here, the whites are white on Donald and on the snow in the background, so it's hard to find that in that good of a condition for color wise anyway book wise there is about a one and a half inch split there at the top and off some more spine stress and wear but overall the book i would say could get a three and a half to a four and anything from 1947 that gets a three and a half to a four is still worth buying and here it is Comics and Stories, number 87, Walt Disney. All right, well, that's going to do it for this uh, presentation. Um, hope to see you Saturday night. It's um, April 15th, 10 p.m. on the Great Legend Show YouTube channel. And um, till then, this is Big Bear signing out.